please pardon the following interruption for a public service announcement. The first revolution is when you change your mind about how you look at things and see that there might be another way to look at it that you have not been shown. I want to give a shout out to Coach Chris Taylor for talking about this. So I think we came to an agreement on how the shoulder actually retracts, but staying closed so the retraction is not like a extension like this where you're screwing up the centrifugal force and that leads to the rounding and elbow dip instead of coming in like a battering ram so you're retracting on a slight diagonal allowing the centrifuge out boom Take the battering ram back. Boom. You gotta prepare for that impact and release. Boom. So you're not going to just use the arm. You're using all of your momentum Boom. All right, I'm gonna talk a little bit about internal and external torque with Power Pocket. So there's two different ways you can go and you'll see pros doing both of these. You can do either a uppercut or an overhand jab. So, <clears throat> It's pendulum or windmill and how you load is a little different so if you just relax and swing your arm around in a windmill over your head your arms gonna want to rotate internally so your palms going out and this is how you'll see like Drew Gibson uh, some other players Proctor The other way you'll see like Heimberg, uh, Rick. So it's more like a uppercut backswing. So when you uppercut, you're going external. If you just relax and swing your arm in and up, it wants to wind up that way. So it's letting it go up so you're stretching the lat and then you can pull so it's, so it's just different ways to wind up. So it's rare to see a true horizontal backswing. It's harder to feel any tension, create any torque, because like when you're throwing a punch, you're gonna rotate, but you're not like trying to force the rotation, you're just releasing the jab. Mm. So in the backhand, it's the same thing, you're just releasing if you just swing your arm, it wants to release that way. So as long as you're actually rotating and creating centrifugal force, you can hold it vertical and it wants to release flat. Boom. So I'm not trying to force flipping it over or anything. I'm just letting it release outward so that momentum is carrying it over a little boom and so <clears throat> rounding I think mainly happens because the back hip is never giving space or hinging back 
So when you're shifting forward, this hip is clearing back this way. It's allowing a pocket to swing inside and then come back out. So you can swing even further inside this way and still go out. So you want to swing on a diagonal to keep everything closed. So you are actually going to retract the shoulder so you're using your lat, your hip, pulling the shoulder, but you're retracting into like a closed position and then allowing everything to extend out. So when the shoulder is actually retracted, it can still look like it's protracted because you actually got force pulling the arm out, but you got to pull against that. So when you're you just want to use your wrist at the end here your shoulder is a lot more stable it can you can use your wrist a lot more powerfully to eject the disc and pull it whereas if you protract the shoulder you got slack and this is a lot weaker if you do this enough you'll start feeling it in the weaker shoulder muscles so your shoulder is a lot more stable in a retracted position versus a protracted so <clears throat> when you're swinging into the back swing you can start retracted and actually just let it protract out so it's the disc is pulling the shoulder and you're allowing it to stretch everything out and then you're using the hip and the lat here to pull and then everything pulls through so the pull is a little diagonal away from straight that allows everything to swing out centrifugally But the lower body is pushing back away from that. So you get a coupling force as everything's pulled really taut and, and you can actually boom at the end with the wrist. <clears throat> so you can play around with the wall. You can get into a power pocket. Now if you let your shoulder protract here, you're going to collapse into rotation here so your elbow is actually going away what I feel is I'm retracting my shoulder here so I'm driving the elbow into the wall which is pushing me away from the wall so if the wall wasn't there the elbow is going forward there but it's staying in a closed position I'm not opening up this way I'm coming in like a battering ram boom with the wrist if I'm all the way extended this looks a lot like double G probably So you're pushing away from the wall. <clears throat> so that's ejecting the disc out. But it's pulling the disc instead of pushing the wall. I don't believe it. <laughs> <laughs> the sea bass, I have the sea bass. <laughs> you gotta like this, I mean the girl.